Paul Marshall of Backballer and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our Premier League preview. I've got Noel Marshall here after his whirlwind tour of the UK, uh, travelling around to all the clubs from the Premier League and the Championship, which we will talk to him about after we go through the games. So Noel, thanks very much for coming on. Great man. Um, I would like to start off by the first early kickoff on Saturday. Um, what would be your prediction on the West Ham versus Spurs game? And Spurs are away here, not in Wembley. I go at a two-one Spurs or three-one Spurs, maybe three-one. Yeah, well, West Ham aren't great at the moment, and I feel that Spurs, you know, when they're not playing at Wembley, they're, just, they're amazing. Like I, they were playing in Goodison there a few weeks ago, and I was at the game, and. They just they walked everything, and that was away from home. So I, I I don't see them struggling against the West Ham team. Yeah, I mean West Ham were low in confidence. Now they've they've picked it up a little bit, but I think Spurs, yeah, they'll they'll have too much. Um, Harry Kane, Deli Ali, they're they're all they're all going good. They'll, yeah, they'll win. Uh, any first goal scores? We a lot of people take out tips and use them in the. Okay. In the any first goal score tips? Uh song if he's playing, but um, Harry. Harry okay, Kane. can't go wrong with Harry Kane, can you? Yeah, yeah. He's, might have him as fancy. No, I love Aguero as fancy captain this weekend. I think I think, I, I think I'd the same, especially after last week. Yep. We'll get to him in a minute. And then Burnley, one of your favourite clubs. Yeah, I was going on really well with Burnley when I was over. Uh, Burnley are at home to Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Um, yeah, both going pretty well. Maybe Burnley to nick it. Just yeah, it's a very, very tight more. affair. Very yeah, it'll be tight. tight. Maybe we'll have one nil you. One nil, early one, goal, early. One nil or one all. I go. They're very good at the back. Yeah, one nil. One nil. Yeah, I think that's short up just kind of a yeah. bit like they did uh, against Liverpool. I know they conceded, but um, Huddersfield obviously aren't as good as Liverpool going forward, you know. And uh, then obviously Everton at home to Bournemouth. Uh, Wayne Rooney rested last night against Sunderland in the, in the Carabao Cup. Yeah, I think uh, Everton should learn from that and probably keep him on the bench. To be honest, he just does it to my mind. Just to this man. Well, I have to disagree with you there. I think Rooney's been our best player. I just oh. think that he hasn't got any pace in the wide areas. Hasn't got any pace. Him. You said it there. You saw the difference with since Man United left him go last night. It was very evident the pace they had in attack. You know, you pace, you know, and United have it now in Rashford or Lukaku. Take your pick. Yeah. You know, ahead yeah, of, miles ahead of. Wayne Rooney yeah Mar Martial Mata McTarian they're all quick players and to score goals you need you need speed yeah, exactly, you know yeah. it's grand having a grand touch but you but you need pace Rooney doesn't have it I'm afraid um, if Rooney plays everything will come stuck yeah well I, I think um, now Nias is after scoring last night and he was like left as a ca an absolute outcast now he's after scoring last night and he's after getting the squad numbers so yeah. just talk of him coming in because we do yeah. not have a centre forward at the moment yeah, I, th I think I think United got caught up the same, and Everton now they're they're paying Wayne one hundred and fifty thousand a week. I think, yeah, which is so I, I, I think there's, they'll they'll feel some obligation to be playing him when they're paying him that much. But it's he's um, he got fined two weeks wages, didn't he? So okay, well, a drink driving. That's uh, that'll save Everton three hundred thousand. But um, but ultimately Wayne Rooney is not going to help Everton. I'm afraid to say that's my opinion. Um, I think I, it, I've watched him at United for, well, all his career, but in the last five, six years, I, you know, the day David Moyes gave away 300,000 um, a week, I was pulling hair out of my head. Well, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get off the top of Wayne Rooney because you clearly don't like him too much. Um. Not his biggest fan. Look, was, but no, no. Yeah. Uh, Everton versus Bournemouth, final score. Now, uh, mind you, Defoe scored last week, so does two all, two two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any first goal score tips, bets? Boo. I'm gonna go for Defoe first goal. Score. Did Kevin Morales play last night? He no. Oh, that's interesting. He well, he's not really very good at the moment. No. But, uh, I wouldn't be backing him to score first. Okay. Uh, he doesn't really get a look in the Premier League games. Uh, pass. I don't know who's gonna score first. Goofy secrets. Gilfie, sorry, he's the man. Gilfie I'm going to go with Jermaine Defoe though. Yeah. Gilfie's going to score, whether it's first or <laughs> second or third or fourth. Okay, and it's 2-2 two, two for yeah. you. I'm going to go 2-1 Everton at home. Okay. Uh, Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. 
at mm. home uh, for City. City at home, Palace. I think they're walking all that. over Palace here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Palace didn't seem to get the immediate kick from the new manager, so could be another drubbing, you know. Yeah, I'd say 4-0. 4. Yeah. Aguero too, and maybe Jesus too. I'll concur exactly with that, 4-0. Four 4-0. Nil. Four nil. I'm going to go with Aguero to score first. If any is, don't, don't, don't go mad at me if I'm wrong. I'll go Sergio as well um, for two. Jesus won, and maybe he scored two last night. Yeah. San they're a. flying though in the league, aren't they? They're absolutely flying. Yeah, they, they, it looks... It looks. Uh, it looks like the Premier League title is coming to, uh, to Manchester. To Manchester, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, look forward. We're not really going to get into that because it's going to. Um, Southampton, at home to United. Interesting. I think that's going. That one's going to go. They won last week against uh, Palace one day also. Yeah. Um, the confidence too. United have though, you you, you yeah, know, even though at home, yeah, maybe two nil. United are pretty tight at the back as well. So. Are you, two nil or two one. Are you going for the first score? 2-0 um, uh, I'll just, just uh, curveball I'll go uh, McTarrion oh, okay. I'm going to say 3-1 United and Lukaku to score first <laughs> so United are scoring so many goals they're scoring goals for fun at the moment so I think they'll keep that up against Southampton and Lukaku does love a goal against Southampton as well So yeah yeah, United might get 3 but you know Southampton generally are tight enough so yeah 2 Yeah. 2 or 3-0 but in my house never it's 2-0 oh, ok uh, Stoke at home to Chelsea. Chelsea will beat Stoke. Um, probably four nil. Four nil. Yeah, as away. well. Che- Pardon. At, uh, away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Nice call. Yeah, it's a it's a good bit, but um, no, I think uh, I think Chelsea are starting to, you know, a bit like. The two Manchester clubs, they're they're playing with a bit of confidence, and um, Stoke are, you know, I'm not sure if they're. Yeah, but Stoke like they they obviously drew two two and came back twice against United. I don't think they're as bad as people are making them out to be. Obviously, Everton beat them as well at the start of the season, but I think mm-hmm. Everton played them just at the right time. Yeah, how many points have Stoke? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. But uh, they're, they're hovering around mid table, I think. Yeah, I had a, I had a bad reaction when I when I went to Stoke so maybe that's influencing my uh, prediction there <laughs> right, okay. no, you can tell us about that have you? yeah um, I'm gonna go 2-0 or 2-1 Chelsea I think it'll be a bit tighter okay. than 4-0 yeah. uh, I'm gonna go for um, Morata <laughs> to get on the score sheet I'm, sh- I'm sure he's get 40 to 1 and 4-0 so yeah well, if, if you do it you know, how many back ballers can you get for that uh, so we'll go then so you're going for Four 0 Chelsea. I'm going two one Chelsea. Uh, Swansea versus Watford. Not a very exciting affair. Mm. Um, Swansea, but uh, Swansea are at home. Confidence, confidence, yeah. Um, Swansea maybe two. No, I'm gonna go two one. Two two. Two two. Yeah. Okay, well, that's that's kind of fair. If anyone to score first. Ooh, um, come on, Wilfred Bony. Wilfred, yeah, yeah, he's got a, he's got a star. Number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to get there at some point. I'm gonna go. I probably got. I probably, I probably agree with you on that one. Yeah, two two. So it's gonna. They're both uh, scoring. I think they got a drum in last week. Watford, um, to City, but I don't think they really deserve it. City were just unbelievable. And yeah. Everything they did came yeah. off. Yeah, and Watford, Watford have started really strong. So yeah, they, they're good manager too. You know they're. They're, they're, if if Watford were at home, probably Watford, but just the fact Swansea are at home. Two yeah, at the Liberty. Yeah. Um, I'll go 2 2. I'm going to go Tammy Abraham to score first. Uh, Leicester versus Liverpool. That's always a high scoring game. 2 0 the other night, Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They played yeah, yeah. twice there. So. Yeah, wow. Well, um, Leicester at home, Liverpool just rocked in terms of confidence. Going forward, though. Just mm. awful at the back. Yeah, yeah. 2-2 two, two again. I'm going to 2-2 two, two again. I'm going to go 2-1 Leicester because it's at home. Wow. A big show, I know. But... I tell you, if Liverpool lose again, whew, that's big. Yeah, it claps in for some criticism. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go for a Jamie Vardy to score first. He didn't score first last week. He scored second, but I backed him to score first. Okay. To score the penalty. Um, yeah, so... Get, two Coutinho. Coutinho. Okay, actually, 
they took Coutinho off at halftime Tuesday night um, and they seem to yeah he was brilliant in the first yeah half. yeah yeah so they were just resting him obviously so look obviously they're going to be playing him for 90 minutes so um, he'll score first and maybe he might Assist. lead Liverpool to a 2-1 victory 2-1 you're going the other way then well I said 2-all so okay that's why you said 2-1 t- I'll right? stick to 2-all um, just the fact that they are struggling um yeah. Okay, Continue so first. Noel's gone 2-2, two, two. I'm gone 2-1. Uh, then Brighton versus Newcastle. I'm mm. going to... Uh, it's one of them, isn't it? You just Yeah, one all. One all. Uh, anyone score for us? I'm actually going to go for the same. I'm going to go for Pascal Gross to score for us. For Brighton. Um, what about that left back who scored for Newcastle? Or right back he plays? The last sales? Yeah. He sent off. Yeah, sorry. You're right. backing him to score a third game in a row? Yeah. Oh, he's go. the man. Yeah, he's great for corners. Okay, and then the last game with Fulham should be. So the last game will, will be Arsenal at home to West Brom. Uh, West Brom are just one of them sides, aren't they? You don't know what West Brom's going to turn up. You can tight, resolute West Brom, or you mm. can get the ones who just kind of fold. Tony mm. Pulis just sets them to fold against the bigger teams to yeah. focus on the smaller teams to just kind of hover. Whereas Arsenal, again, it's another one. You don't know what Arsenal side is going to turn up as well. So it's a bit of a... I still think Arsenal will win. I think they'll have too much for West Brom. Yeah. I... I'm going to go for Lacazette to score first. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 home victory to Arsenal. 2-0, yeah. Yeah, they were impressive enough against Chelsea uh, for what I saw of it last weekend. Going okay. Um, I like that Calas in there. Yeah, two nil sounds reasonable. Or uh, you know, West Brom are tight, so maybe maybe just one nil. One nil. Uh, yeah. Who who are you backing? Score. Uh, I don't know. Ramsey had a serious effort against the post against Chelsea, so maybe. Would you go? Yeah, maybe maybe Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. I I really fancy rate him as a. Okay. Well, that's so player. so it's one nil. Arsenal for now. 2-0 for me. Uh, tell us what you think about the games in the comments. 